You might not remember this, but we had breakfast at Denny's in California and you said to me, pornography is a hellish mockery of a heavenly reality. Yes, yes. This is what you're talking about. Yes, yes, exactly what I'm talking about. Pornography is a hellish mockery okay. of a heavenly reality. Open that reality. up for us. What does that mean? Okay, so again, we're back to the principle, the devil doesn't have his own clay. If yep. we give him his own clay, in other words, if we say, okay, just take the body and sex, that belongs to you. Yeah. You can have it. We, we, that's exactly what he wants. He wants to, he wants to be God, right? He wants to say, this is mine. Mm -hmm. And we have a duty to say, no, that does not belong to you. You have mocked, mm. you have mocked it unto a hellish distortion, but we're taking it back. Matt, this is what our faith is. <clears throat> it's the taking back of the body by the Son of God. Amen, yes. Yeah. It's what it is. But you think the temptation, the Manichaean temptation, the Manich is like, yeah, it is yours. It is yours, just You're take right. it. We have this. We're gonna live a spiritual life yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, We're gonna yeah. live a spiritual life, divorced from all that, because it's, it's too painful to look at that. You could just take it, and I'll, I'll go over here and live a spiritual life. And what happens when people do that? Like, I'm, we rupture ourselves. You We're, encounter people all the time, I'm sure, who you think have done that. Yes. I'll, I'll tell you, yeah. so, here's a story. Uh, two months ago, I was giving a talk. Beautiful, older gentleman came up to me after the talk. He's, I don't know, 70s. And he said, Christopher, I hate that God made us this way. I hate sexuality. It's caused me nothing but pain. Yeah. It's caused me nothing but pain my whole life. And he went through a long list of... Yeah, put that back up. Hello. <laughs> he went through a long list of very painful stories. Uh, his, his daughter was sexually abused by a, uh, somebody who worked at his company. God. Um, and he went through the whole tale of how that destroyed her life. He told some tales about his own marriage and brokenness there. And it's, to him, it's caused nothing but pain. Mm. So his response is, I hate this, yeah. reject. Okay, our faith is not the rejection of the body, it's the redemption of the body. Yeah. It's not salvation from the body, it's salvation of the body. But to do that, to, to go through that salvation, to go through that purification, to go through that he experience of healing, mm -hmm. it means we need to to bring to light the pain and the wounds and put it in the hands of Christ. Mm. And that is a That's scary, hard. scary, That's scary messy. proposition. It's messy. It is messy. Mm -hmm. It's easier to just say, That's bad, reject that, live a spiritual life. Yeah. John Paul II therefore says that that Manichaean approach, again, for the listeners who don't know what Manichaeism is, it's the heresy that says spirit good, body bad. Yeah. It's a sh short yeah. definition. Um, John Paul II says that approach might and in fact may always be a loophole to avoid the requirements of the gospel. Because hmm. the gospel requires us to enter into and experience the redemption of our bodies. Yo, thanks for watching. You can watch the entire episode on YouTube if you want. You can listen to it at The Matt Frad Show by subscribing on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And feel free to support me, patreon.com slash mattfrad.